looking for a new job can be daunting. And especially if you're not really sure what it is you want to be when you grow up. So I have three tips on how you can leverage chat GPT or AI to make the process a little bit easier. Why make things so hard, my friends? Okay, so let's dig in. Before you look for a job, this goes on if you are out of work by choice or been laid off, or if you're currently working and are thinking about doing a career transition, you got to know what you want first and foremost. And that is where you're going to have to use your own brain power and not chat GPT. Okay. But I want you to really sit down. What does this new role look like? What does this organization look like? What does the position look like? What do I want to be doing on a day to day? How big is it? What skills am I using? How do I want to be compensated? Where is it? Do I want to go there? Do I want it to be hybrid? So on and so forth. Put all of that on paper so that you are in the mindset of this is what I want. And remember, we have said this a million times, what you do not want is not helpful. Okay, so to say, I don't want to work weekends, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that, not helpful. What do you want instead? Because our subconscious, who's going to go out and help you find said um, position, does not understand negatives. So when we say we don't want something, she can't help but think about the thing that you don't want, and that is what's in her mind's eye. So... I want you to focus on what it is that you want in the positive, okay? So then once you have that, first tip, first way to leverage ChatGPT is to help you figure out what you might want to do next. So I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to go through each of your roles that you've had in your lifetime from when you were the first from a babysitter through every volunteer organization, through all of the roles that you play within your home. And I want you to write down every single skill that you have developed, utilized, and have, and also all of the unique knowledge that you have from all of your different roles, okay? This should be a really long list, okay? So what's the difference between a skill and unique knowledge? A skill is like verbal communication, photo editing, creating cross-functional teams. It's something that you can pick up and take somewhere else. And it's something that's more of an action. It's an action verb. It is something that you can actually do. Okay. Whereas unique knowledge is more broad and more descriptive of the type of role that might make sense for you. So for example, unique knowledge would be retail management or design methodology. It is, it is not necessarily a doing, it is a overall piece of knowledge that you have. Working in medical devices, for example. So it could be, I work in academia, I have um, in biomedical, so on and so forth. So that's unique knowledge versus actual skills, all right? So I want you to have that whole laundry list now. Here comes our first way that we come into ChatGPT. I, there are many tools, free, paid for. This is all for free, right? So I will put the link in show notes of OpenAI, which is the ChatGPT. I use the free version. There are some days that I use it so much it says, okay, that's all you can do until 530 this evening. I'm okay with that. I can wait. 
Um, but if you want, there's always paid versions. There's always things you can make things more difficult. Let's stay with easy. So if you've not used ChatGPT before, it needs a persona. So you open up a chat and you set the persona of what you want this thread to have. So just like you can go in and say, I want you to be a skilled financial planner that is has years of experience helping people in their 50s prepare for retirement, because now you want to ask it all sorts of questions about that, as you would say, I am an Algebra 2 and you are a skilled Algebra 2 teacher working in the high school setting and so forth so that my son can get test questions for his next test. That's the beauty of ChatGBT. You go in and you tell it what you want it to be, and then you ask for their assistance. Okay. So for all three of my tips and ways to utilize ChatGPT, it will be the same persona. So I want you to start your thread with, you are a skilled career development executive with 15 plus years of experience in resume building and recruiting. Okay. So this puts it in a method, a mindset that they are very good at resumes. They've worked in career coaching and recruiting both sides. This gives you a full picture. Okay. When you go once you've set your persona, then you need to tell it what you want it to do for you. And then you give it the information that you want it to do with. So for example, in this first setting is now that we have all of these skills and unique knowledge, we want to ask it what might be potential roles that I could do with these skills and this unique knowledge. So after you have put in the persona and you only have to do that once, now that thread, that is, that's, think of it as putting a face on this one with that person's face. And now it will also remember everything that you have just put in. So you can just keep building and building. So you would then say, I am looking for a role. And this is where you have to give it some of that descriptors from your original list. I'm looking for a role in nonprofit, in um, focusing on food scarcity and homelessness. And I have um, this list of skills, and then you copy and paste and unique knowledge. Tell me what potential roles there are for me. You could do this just as I am looking for a corporate setting across all industries. I have this many skills, this skill set and unique knowledge. Tell me what potential roles I can do with this many years of experience, whatever the case is. You can keep playing and, and moving and shifting. If there are roles or if there are skills that you have or unique knowledge that you have, that you have no desire to use moving forward, don't include them. So just like we needed to know what it is that you wanted in that first journal exercise, you also need to be clear on which skills you actually want to utilize moving forward. Just because I say this, I had a very successful event planning company for years and years and years. Event planning, I'm really good at it. I no longer enjoy it. I don't want to utilize that. If I were doing this exercise, I would leave that off. Okay? So then you can get a whole idea of titles and roles and so forth. And then you can use that to go out into your marketplace on Indeed and job boards like LinkedIn and put in those titles and so forth and see what comes up and see if you agree with those um, recommendations. It just helps you kind of point yourself, especially if you've always been in biomedical sales 
and now you want something different. It is very hard to see yourself doing anything different. But the fact of the matter is your skills can be moved and shifted and so forth to point you at something else. Okay. Second way to use chat GPT. What is the hardest, most daunting task of a job search? It's the resume, the resume. It is a life sucker, right? All right. So you can now say, I am looking for, if you've done the the previous task, you would like, I am looking for a position um, as a brand strategist, as an e-commerce manager, as in a role in human resources, you can make it more generic and so forth. And you can start working on your resume. There are ways for you to, um, and ChatGPT prompts that you can like have it create it from scratch. I would not advise that. So you probably already have a resume, even if it is outdated and so forth. You want to have for every company that you worked for a brief description of what the role was. Whatever the case is, as far as the type of responsibility you had, did you manage, was there a budget? Just an overview of maybe two to three sentences of just overview of that role. If you're a vice president of financial services, a person who's reading this knows what that will entail, right? But you want to give a little bit more specificity and give it a little bit more impact with what your description is. So I want you to do that for every company that you worked with. Just get it in there. It doesn't have to be perfect and wordsmith and so forth. That's what we're going to use ChatGPT for. So I want you to have a description of every role that you've had. If you have worked in roles, if you've changed jobs 9,000 times, or if you've worked many different roles within one company, you can start to kind of lump those together and kind of generalize so that this is not a, a complex 14 page document and so forth. Also, if it has absolutely nothing to do with how you want to move forward, then you can leave it off. Okay. I do a resume rescue where we go through all of these things one-on-one. -on -one. I also do resume rescue group sessions where we go through this one-on-one -on -one, or we go through this as a group step-by-step -step, and you can ask lots of questions and so forth. But this is just to give you an overview of how you can utilize ChatGPT for yourself and your resume. Okay. So for every job that you have had, I want you to pull out three to five at most bullets on the impact that you made on the organization, utilizing the skills that you want to use moving forward that points you at the role that you're wanting next. This is the biggest misconception on a resume. This is not a document to show all the things you've ever done. It is a marketing document that is pointing you to your what's next role. Okay. So thus you want to think about, all right, if I've always been in sales, but I really want to go into training, where are all the things in every one of your past roles where you were training? teaching, mentoring, creating programs, making, writing curriculum, so on and so forth. Things that you probably hadn't thought of and probably aren't currently on your resume, but you're like, oh yes, I did that that one time. I want you to then create those bullets. All right. So I want you to kind of piece together Google Doc, Word Doc, Ugly, this is all words right now. Don't worry about formatting, what it looks like and so forth. And I want you to pull that all out. And I want you to say in a chat GPT, here is my entire draft resume. 
please provide any feedback to help me make it more professional, concise, succinct, and engaging. And then it will then copy and paste all of that in. And then in two seconds, it will tell you, you really should have more emphasis here, more discussion here, make this shorter, blah, 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 blah. It'll give you feedback. And then go back to your working document, make that as many of those changes as possible. And then one job after another, you can then take each of the sections of the, the overall description of the role and ask it, please edit this to make it concise and engaging. Engaging is, that helps make this shorter and more concise. If you've ever picked up someone else's resume and your eyes glaze over and you're like, I don't even want to read this. Like I'm bored already by just looking at this. We don't want that. Think of a recruiting or a hiring manager who is picking this up and they need to see in a second, is this person worth me continuing to read or am I going to put this to side? Okay. So each section these are my three to five bullets, or these are my bullets for this role. Please help me edit this to make it concise and engaging and just do section after section after section and clean up all of those pieces. Herein lies, this is why we don't encourage our children to use ChatGPT to do their homework because it is computer generated, right? And they need to think for themselves. We need to think for ourselves as well. And we, this is our document that is, we're putting our name on and this is the face of us. So don't blindly just take this transformational, um, that is the biggest one of words that AI loves to use, pivot, um, exceptional, and so forth. This needs to sound like you. And mind you, there is a whole, I could, we could go down the concept of how you train your chat GPT to speak like you. But again, we're keeping this easy. So after it has given you all these suggestions, you've copied and pasted that into your working document. Then you go through and be like, I would never say this. I would never say this like this. And then you edit it to sound like you, but using no more overall words than what it gave you and so forth. Once you have that all cleaned up, then you go into ChatGPT and say, I am looking at this role, like find an actual um, job description. Here is my entire resume. Please write me a summary that's no more than 100 words that summarizes my capabilities at doing this type of role. And then that is the part that goes at the top. So in a resume, we start with all of our contact information, then we have our summary, then we have our skills, and then you have your chronology. You finish with your education certifications and volunteer work. So this is where you can just play and so forth. Sidebar, I am not a proponent for totally updating and changing your resume for every um, job that you're looking at because there's just so many opportunities for there to be errors and, and so forth and getting confused as to which one. So when you're asking for it, for a job description, have that as your overall, like I am looking at these types of roles and so forth, where you can do very customized to the job description of what you're applying for is in your cover letter. That is that is a whole other piece. You can absolutely take your whole resume and say, this is the job I'm looking for. Here is the job description that they're asking for. Please write me a cover letter. You know, ask it, it'll tell you in the cover letter what they're wanting and so forth. And then again, you make it sound like you. 
third way to use ChatGPT, mind you, I just gave you about 15 in that just resume piece alone, is interview prep. Okay. So now you've put your, your resume out into the world. You now have um, an interview, or even if you don't have the interview yet, you can start preparing for an interview using ChatGPT. So pick a job description that sounds amazing that you would love to have and put it into, again, the same persona and say, I am looking at um, interviewing for this role and give it um, copy and paste in. Please provide me five interview questions for this position. Okay. And then they'll give you um, five typical interview questions that a recruiter would give you. And then you can sit and craft your answer, like write it out, craft your answer. Then once you've done that, you can then say, here is my entire resume. Please provide me your responses based on my resume to those five questions. See what it says and then pull the best of both together into what you're crafting as your story to be for these types of questions. This provides you an opportunity to be able to practice. You know how amazing you are, but being in front of other people and having something at stake is hard and makes memory almost impossible at times. So this gets you used to saying all the things and crafting those stories that you need to have. You need to have stories on what was your most, your proudest moment in your work career. What was your least, what was the most challenging and what do you want to do next? These are types of things that you should just be able to say, it doesn't matter where you're sitting. Okay. So chat GPT, once you get into it, you can figure out a million other ways. I had a client the other day who had um, found a job description or a company that is hiring. It had two roles and they were so minutely different. One was like a director of engineering and one was a director of strategy, but it was both very much an almost overlap on job description. She was fitting for both. So we had this discussion, does she apply to both? Does she apply to just one? And she used ChatGPT. She put in both job descriptions and then her resume and said, which one am I most suited for? And ChatGPT then pointed her to one in particular and so forth. So there's a million ways that you can use it. And there's this idea of like, oh, I shouldn't be utilizing AI and so forth. If it gets you to a role that fills you up in an organization that adores and respects you, where you're getting paid your value, it's worth it, my friend. Use the tools that are available to you. Take the daunting and make it easy. If this still seems like I have just spoken Greek, I'm like the teacher from Peanuts and it's like wah, 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 reach out. I can help you do all of these pieces and so forth. But this is if you want to get started right away on your own. I hope you have an amazing week.